a regular pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis 60 mm is mounting centrally is mounting centrally over a cylindrical block of 80 mm diameter and 25 mm thick so draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids so here i'll be drawing a top view the orthographic view of this pentagon and then a circle first i'll be constructing a pentagon of dimension 30 mm so draw a vertical line of 30 mm so take protector and mark for 72 degree you all know how to construct the pentagon with the angle of 72 degree okay draw a line of length 30 mm passing through that angle point Okay, so here also you need to mark for 72 degree, 72 degree and draw a line of length passing through that angle point, a length of 30 mm. Okay, so now you take compass, measure 30 mm and cut the arc. Okay, so now we join with the help of a scale, straight line you draw, connecting it. So, this completes the pentagon, dimension 30. Okay, so now to find out the center of this, I will be drawing, uh, I will be taking, uh, first I will be drawing middle points to draw the perpendicular bisectors. Okay, at least I will draw three perpendicular bisectors marking the middle points okay so this is how you have to draw the perpendicular bisector to find out the center of the pentagon so here i have drawn two so i need one more okay one more so mark the middle point okay so 30 means exactly you need to mark for 15 mm here okay so okay after constructing it so show the dimensions so it is having a dimension of 30 mm okay okay now we should construct a box for this because we will be constructing using box method in the isometric okay that's why we need we need to construct the boxes here or the the extremities of this pentagon we will be drawing horizontal and vertical lines okay so that we can able to construct a box for the extremities of this pentagon so that uh, within this uh, we will get a rectangular box here for this uh, pentagon okay we should construct it Okay, you can measure the dimension and show it. Okay, it is uh, around uh, forty nine mm we get here. Okay, the uh, middle point of that that will be twenty four point five. And this is uh, we're getting around uh, 45 mm. Okay, and this one also we should measure. This is we are getting around th 28 mm. We get here. Okay, the total length we get it is 45. We should measure these lengths because. Uh, so it will be helpful when we construct this pentagon you say because it is in polygon 
so that's why we should have all these uh, lengths if we measured these uh, lengths okay box dimensions and this end points length so it will be easy for us to construct it okay so it is having a length of 45 mm we will show it okay now from the center of that we will be constructing a here uh, it is a cylinder cylinder block means it will be in circle so the diameter given 80 mm so we will be considering a radius of 40 mm here okay then we construct a circle here So that means it is having a box dimension of uh, 80 we no need to see but we can show only the dimension so we will show the dimension on one side so the box dimension of this cylindrical block it will be 80 mm okay now we need to construct the isometric of it so you can see we have the first we need to construct a box of 80 by 80 that is uh, 8 by 8 box okay, first i will draw a reference line okay then we'll take a reference point from that reference point okay i'll be counting eight boxes okay 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This side also will construct the same thing. 4, 5, 7, 8. Okay. So, construct the box first. So here it is in cylinder means we should construct the ellipse here. We should construct the ellipse here, two ellipse at a height of 25 mm because it is having a thickness of 25. So the height we should consider that is two and a half box. One, two, two and a half. Okay, again same thing we should do it for all these extremities, two and a half. Again one, two, two and a half. One, two, two and a half okay so here also we should construct another box of 80 that is 8 by 8 box 80 mm 80 by 80 mm so we should join these points which we have taken okay so now uh, we got the box again here so now we should mark the middle point of this box so it is 80 means exactly at four four boxes count it uh, perfectly one two three four in one two three and four one two three four same thing here also one two three four okay count again one two three four so mark it properly now you draw the line from the corner of the point to the opposite middle point here we are following four arc by center method to construct the ellipse you all know how to construct it okay four arc by center method okay then in the top box also we should do the same thing okay now use compass to measure these lens 
and cut the arc okay measure the length any one length you can construct these arcs same way from the other end join it properly and then from that reference point we construct a uh, part of the ellipse okay the same way we should do it for the top box also okay from that reference point we can measure the length and cut the arcs to construct the ellipse here okay now you draw the diagonals so the bottom box and the top box the straight line you can join connect okay for this point also you can do it okay now we can join these extremities with the vertical line here and here also okay so now we have to use the subtraction of box method okay so one side we have 80 one side we have 45 80 minus 45 it is 35 35 divided by 2 means 17.5 and the other side we have 80 minus 49 80 minus 49 means 31 31 divided by 2 we have 15.5 so that means on the one side we should mark 17.5 on the other side of the line and the other box side we should mark 15.5 that is almost around 15 only so that's what the thing I'm going to do it on the top box. So on the top box, I should mention. Okay. You can see here. The top box we should mention. One is 15, one is 17.5. You can mention it. So first I'll be mentioning 17.5. From this side also 17.5. There also I should mention 17.5. And here also 17.5. Now on the other side we should mention 15. 15 we should mention. 15. 15. 15 and 15. Okay. So now we will draw the lines connecting these points okay and join these reference uh, points also with the straight thin lines because we need, we will get a box here for we will get a rectangular box for this uh, pentagonal prism okay okay now we need to find out that and we should dark it so that is that it that it will be easy for us to construct the pentagon within that rectangular box okay box of 45 by 49 we get it here okay okay now you can see we should uh, we have already measured the box in the pentagon we should use those uh, point lengths such as 9 28 and all i'll be marking 9 here you can see on the other either side and then i'll be marking the middle point that is 24.5 okay and then i'll try to join still i need to mark 28 here 
so 28 i'll be marking so this is where i'll get 20 28 here okay here and uh, here okay and then i'll join to join these points to get the pentagon here So by joining all these uh, points, we get a pentagon here, okay. So from this pentagon extremities, exactly vertically upward, we should move at a height of 60 mm, that is 6 boxes. Therein also we need to construct another pentagon, okay, another pentagon. So from this extremities point, so using scale, uh, we can count the boxes here, okay, I can count it, you just see. I'll be using the uh, help of the scale here. That's it. But, but I'll be counting the boxes only here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. That is your reference point. Okay. Draw vertical line. Because it is a prism. Same way. Same way for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Draw a line. Okay same way here also why i'm using scale means it will be helping to draw a straight line one two three four five six you can join okay the same way here also you can do it you can count one two three four five six you can join here okay and then here also you can do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can join. Okay, now we get a pentagon above it. So, you can see that at a height of 60. So, we should connect it. Okay, we should connect it. To get the pentagon here. So, you can see, so that completes the problem. You can see that the subtraction of the things we have done here. 